What's up, everyone? Brian here with Kaori Takasue. And we're playing some Earth Defense Force 2025. This is the co-op mode, and uh, we're going to take it away. We're, on, we're not the, at the first level. It's like the 50th mission or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to look at these familiar red ant enemies from the first game. Um, can you tell us what's going on with co-op? What's different this time around? So this time around, we're playing the local co-op mode, but um, in this EDF 2025 game, we have online multiplayer. Um, you'll be able to chat with your friends that live in other countries, and um, you will be able to do some cool dance moves and gestures and chat functionalities. Um, yeah. So in, the f in 2017, at uh -huh. least I remember, uh, everyone was sort of the same, like Storm EDF character. You all right. look the same. You all... You know, use the same weapons, whatever you wanted. Uh, in this one, the classes are different. Like, you can see I'm this smaller, lighter character. He has this ridiculously large minigun. Yeah, you're playing as the ranger. He's the classic Earth Defense Force soldier. Um, if you played the original series, he's known as the Stormtrooper. Um, he's really agile. He's pretty much well-rounded. And if you're starting EDF, it's good to get to know this character first. And that's me, that's my you? ranger on yes. the right screen? Okay. Yes. And then uh, Joe here, he's playing as the fencer. He's actually taken from Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon's, um, the, what is it called? The Jet Armor Pack? No, no, no. He was the big guy. Yeah, I think it's called the Heavy Armor class. So we kind of modeled it off EDFIA. Um, and uh, he's basically a tank character. And he can, you know, wield larger weapons. He can dual wield. So other classes can only take in two weapons. But Fencer can take in four weapons per, mm -hmm. okay. per game. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, ants, spiders, it seems like the same enemies um, sort of from the first game, for, or at least from 2017 so far. Right. Uh, what... What else? What other kinds of enemies have been added, and how are they going to change how uh, you play? Yes. So from 2017 to this game, eight years has passed, and in between there was Insect Armageddon, which was a spin-off um, done by our uh, internal developer, Vicious Cycle. So we've taken the Wasp character that was in that game, and they've implemented that in this game. So we'll be seeing that in a little bit. So there's Wasps now. There's also the larger Retarius uh, spider we spoke about <laughs> earlier. And, Sorry, uh, that was overkill. No, that's all right. And uh, we had have dragons now. So that's dragons? a brand new thing that we're excited about. Oh, you know, insects like ants, spiders, and dragons. And dragons. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So there's a wasp guy in front of you. And there's also been some expansions on the, the robot lines. You're going to see giant shield robots bears. and things like that, mm -hmm. too. Uh, there's some walking platforms that actually have shields that will block any Fire. Do they still have those giant motherships that shoot yeah. all the lasers at you? Yes, so in there are motherships, but in, the story is in 2017, the game ends where you've shot down the mothership and the game's over, right? Mm. Um, in 2025, the gist of the story is um, eight years have passed and all the insects were um, nesting underground and they were multiplying. And so they come back. Um, so yes, you'll see motherships later in, the, in, in this game as well because they return. The yeah. Yeah. Sure. So yeah. it's, it's been a while since I played. I don't quite remember. Am I uh -huh. looking for ammo? Do uh, I have unlimited ammo? So the, the thing is, most of the weapons do reload on its own. Um, right here, the Gatling gun doesn't. Um, but some, okay, so some weapons you have to shoot enemies and you get credits. And then other weapons, they reload on its own. So there you go. You can also force a reload by pressing the uh, X button. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Right. Sure. And this is coming to PlayStation 3 and, and Xbox, Xbox 360, 360, correct? Okay. Yeah. And the point of each mission, you see your radar on the top right. Um, everything in red is pretty much an enemy, so you want to wipe out all the enemies per mission. So uh, one thing from 2017 that I really loved is the, when the ins insects were dead, they just lay around and their bodies sort of froze up and they mm -hmm. would bounce around. And mm -hmm. there were sort of those things that are like... <laughs> yeah, maybe this is like not a great thing, but it's still really fun and quirky, and it gave this yeah. game a personality. And it right. looks like maybe some of that has that's stuck still, around. Yeah, that's still stuck around. Um, <laughs> like, the funny thing is you're blowing stuff up, and these characters, they're all bad and tough, yet when they get hit, they go shooting in the air. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry, I kind of left you behind. I was uh, over on the streets over here. Yeah. Sorry. And the, the thing here is you guys can shoot each other. So while you're saving the world, if you annoy each other, you can, like, shoot each other for fun. Does it hurt? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. You I'll can stop kill doing each that. other. <laughs> <laughs> but you can also revive one another as well. Uh, and then is this two-player co-op, or can you have uh, so more online. people than that? Okay. Is, uh, two player. Right. Um, and then 
and then there's also online uh, play, which is with the four players. And it also supports guest online, mm -hmm. so you can play couch play two player, and then also somebody else's more system online. you could hook up. So we can be playing like this, and then mm. your friends can, two people on their side can play with us. Does it change like the the number of enemies or objectives or something based on uh, whether you're playing alone or cooperatively? Uh, not in local, but in online multiplayer, um, we have nine additional missions that aren't available in the offline uh, co-op mode. Yeah, and there are some minor changes, like, you know, difficulty balance changes. Right. Okay. So these wasps, I think they're shooting needles at me? Yes, they're <laughs> sharp needles. Um, do those, uh, can they, like, pin you down? Does it slow yes. you down? Okay. Yeah, they pin you down. I remember in 2017, there were the spiders, and there were some maps that were spiders only, and they would fly through the air and then they would wrap you in the webs and you're yeah. just stuck there and you would die a yeah. horrible death yeah uh you this told me it was in a loading screen so we haven't seen him yet but there yeah. was a, a stronger Retari spider even? yeah so retarius is a brand new spider and that's the one joe mentioned earlier it pulls you in and it'll suck the energy out of you um so in those types of levels we always recommend playing as wing diver because you can fly above them and you can you know use a rocket launcher or something like that from far away so there is um, some strategy involved, and the more you play, and the more weapons you collect, you kind of, you know, pick favorites and what works most. Okay, so I think I just blew up a bunch of things there, a bunch of buildings. <laughs> um, <laughs> how does destruction work? I remember in, uh, once again, I keep going back to it, uh, yeah. 2017, uh -huh. you would shoot the building for a while, and then it would just kind of fall down, and, uh -huh. and, and it was gone, and... Uh, uh -huh. Is it sort of the same here? Is, is destruction still like a big focus? Uh, yeah, destruction is a huge focus of the game. I mean, everything is pretty much destructible. So every car you see, every tree, every mailbox, um, you can shoot everything. Let's try this. Yeah, go ahead and go for that. Does that hurt things when it falls on them? Yes. Okay. Yes. So if you think you're being tricky and you're hiding on top of a building or something, you can still, you know, the, if the building blows up, you're gone too. Can they blow it up? Uh, that... But um, the for the most part, there are some enemies that can, that, but yeah. for the most part, no. Um, you don't take any kind of destruction damage, like if a piece of a building falls on you, you're fine, but the explosion that blows it up, obviously, is going to mm -hmm. be just fine. So, to answer that question, yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> and everything is um, still a pickup, so armor is um, pickup, weapons, as well as health. Okay, is it sort of like in the other game where yeah. the armor is just constantly built up and you could right. get like... Right, right. It was almost... A, it was unlimited, wasn't it? You yeah, just it keep, keeps going. It keeps going. Uh -huh. <laughs> Absolutely. So eventually you get to a point where you just, you just shrug off these yeah, spiders. You're you don't fine. Care. Yeah, you're fine. And then that's when you, you know, get the courage to play Inferno mode, right? Once you have mm. all the weapons, you have everything ready, that's when you start playing Inferno mode. All right, well... I think I got a hang of this ranger class. Yeah, uh, if you don't mind, we could just switch yeah. up to a new level. I'll yeah. try something else out. Let's go to Wing Diver for Okay, him. thanks. Uh, we're going to do a few more of these videos. So uh, keep it locked to IGN for everything on Earth Defense Force, excuse me, 2025. And uh, we'll be back with more.